Yo, what is up everybody? I wanted to come to you guys tonight with my Smackdown Live review tonight. Let's jump right into the show. To start off uh, Smackdown Live tonight, we had Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns comes out and he, and he, and he, man, I'm going to tell you what, man. Roman Reigns is doing the best heel work of his life right now, man. Roman Reigns is doing the best work of his life right now. In the WWE, Roman Reigns as a heel, I'm enjoying, man. I'm going to be straight honest. I like Roman Reigns as a heel. I'm enjoying this new heel, Roman. I'm enjoying it, man. I mean, this new heel, Roman, I like. I like this heel, Roman. I'm enjoying it. I mean, I like this new badass Roman Reigns. I like it. And I think Roman Reigns is doing some of his best work right now, man. Roman Reigns is right is right where he needs to be. I mean the Paul I mean the pairing with Paul Heyman, you couldn't have done any better than that. I mean that's a good pairing with Paul Heyman. Roman Reigns is doing the best work of his WWE career right now and it is showing, man. It is really paying off for him. Roman Reigns is killing it as a heel, man. This new heel role for Roman, I absolutely I, I like it, man. I like this new heel, Roman Reigns. I think it's some of the best work that Roman has ever done in WWE. I think pairing Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman was the best choice WWE has ever made. I really like the pairing with Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. I like the pairing, man. I, I enjoy it. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying Roman as a heel. I'm enjoying his new attitude. I'm enjoying... You know, I'm enjoying this new heel role for Roman I, overall as a heel. I like the new heel persona he's took, he's taken on. I'm really enjoying his new heel persona. I like how he carries himself. I like how I like his promos now. I like how he talks for himself. I like how Roman Reigns speaks for himself. I like how Roman Reigns is. I like this new, you know, this new heel persona. For Roman Reigns, I really enjoy it, man. It's, I think this new heel persona is really a good thing for Roman Reigns. WWE needed to turn Roman heel because Roman as a babyface, I just couldn't get into. I mean, when Roman was a babyface, it was like, ugh. But this, but this Roman Reigns, I like. I like this new Roman Reigns as a heel. I like it, man. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. I like... The hill work that Roman is doing. I like the new hill persona. I like the attitude. I like the overall, you know, just the badass, the bad, the badassness of the Roman Reigns hill persona. I like it. I think it's enjoyable. I think it's some of the best work that Roman has ever done. I think this new hill roll suits him well. I think it, I think this new hill roll suit, suits him perfectly. Because now you have him paired with Paul Heyman. And now Roman Reigns is going to be just as over as he was before. He's going to be even more over now. Because now he's a heel and he's paired, with, he's paired with Paul Heyman. So I think Roman Reigns is going to be even more over than what he was as a babyface. I think now that you've, you know, now that you have paired him with Paul Heyman in this heel role, I think... You know, it makes it makes Paul Heyman look good, and it makes Roman Reigns look good as well because now you got a heel Roman with a heel Paul Heyman. I like that, man. I like the pairing of the two. I like the power pairing of Paul Heyman and Roman Reigns. I like the I like the power pairing between those two. I think that's a great move by WWE to make a power move and put Roman Reigns with Paul Heyman, I like it, I think it's a great move, I think it's a great decision, and I think Roman Reigns is doing some of the best work of his WWE career, I'm enjoying this new heel role for Roman, I like Roman as a heel now, as to, was, as to when he was a babyface, I couldn't stand it, because Roman Reigns, Roman Reigns as a babyface, I was like, okay, but this new heel Roman, I like, because you see, you see the, you see how the persona is just, it, it, you know, it glows. It, it makes him more badass than, than what it did, what it, it makes him more badass. It makes his persona better. 
and makes him that more badass than what he than what he used to be. This new heel role for Roman is what is right where Roman needs to be. Roman needs to be a full fledged heel. This heel role is working perfect for Roman Reigns, man. This new heel role is doing is doing works for Roman Reigns and his new and his new heel character, man. It really is. So I give WWE credit for you know pairing Paul Heyman with Roman Reigns now that Roman is a heel along with a heel Paul Heyman. I like that. I like that they are both heels. I like that. I like the new heel persona for Roman. Roman needed to Roman needed this heel turn. And I think, you know, Roman's going to be a lot better now because he's a heel and it's going to come off it's going to come off as him being that, you know, just that hated heel that we all have wanted for years and years and years. We all have wanted Roman to turn heel and this is what all of us have been waiting for is to is for Roman to turn heel. So I think that's really awesome and I think Roman Reigns is doing some of the best work of his life right now in WWE as a heel along with Paul Heyman. I like it. I'm enjoying it. I think it's an awesome power pairing. I like this new heel Roman and I like the new heel persona for Roman Reigns. I like it, man. I like this new heel Roman. I love it, man. The new heel Roman, I absolutely love, man. This, this is where Roman Reigns needed to be. This heel role does wonders for Roman, man. You can see it in his mannerisms. You can see it in his promos. You can feel it when he talks. You can feel that badassery that's coming off of him, and I like that, man. So I I like Roman Reigns paired with paired with Roman. Uh, I like Roman Reigns paired with Paul Heyman as a heel. I like the heel uh, power pairing here between Roman Reigns and Paul Heyman. I like it, man. I, I and Roman is a do it. Roman is doing a good. Roman is doing good work as a heel, man. He really is. I like this new I like this new heel Roman, man. I really do. This new heel Roman Reigns, I absolutely love. And then we get Jay Uso. So we got a segment, we got a promo with we got a prom, we got we got a promo with Jay Uso and Roman Reigns. The promo between Roman Reigns and Jay Uso was pretty good, I have to admit. The promo work between Jay Uso and Roman Reigns now that he's a heel. This new promo between the two and on their segment to start off SmackDown Live tonight, I liked. Because Jay's at Jay's coming off as a heel and I like that and I like that Roman Reigns is is turned heel now and that you can feel the badassery when he speaks. You can you can see it in his mannerisms, you can see the way it this glows off of him. I like that. So I like this segment with Jay Uso and Roman Reigns in their promo segment tonight on on uh, SmackDown Live. I really love this segment. I thought the segment was really good. I I thought this promo segment was really really good between Jay Uso and Roman Reigns to start off SmackDown Live. I thought the I thought the promo segment was really really good. And then we had we and then we had Jeff Hardy versus Sami Zayn. I just don't care for Sami Zayn versus Jeff Hardy. I just don't care for it. Um, cuz we all know Jeff Hardy wasn't going to beat Sami Zayn. We all know this because of because of Jeff Hardy situation that is going on. I'm not going to speak on it, but we all knew that Sami Zayn was going to end up retaining the IC Championship over Jeff Hardy because Jeff, because of Jeff Hardy's situation that is going on. So that is the reason I knew Sami Zayn would beat Jeff Hardy because of Jeff Hardy's situation that is currently going on right now. So I knew, I knew Jeff Hardy wasn't beating Sami Zayn. So, I mean, Sami Zayn beat Jeff Hardy. It was an all right match. It was decent. I mean, I, do, I just don't, I don't, I mean, Sami Zayn, as a heel, it annoys me. It, I mean, I guess he's doing what he's supposed to do, which is annoying me as a heel. He's doing, he's doing what he's supposed to do as a heel, and that is be annoying. I mean, I guess that's what he's trying to come off as, the annoying heel. But to me, I think he's kind of overdoing it. I think he's way overdoing it at this point. Because it's the same thing with Sami Zayn. 
it's the same promo, it's the same thing he says, and I just, I'm sorry, I mean, I, I mean, I used to love Sami Zayn when he was a baby face, this new heel Sammy, it's like, okay, yeah, it's all right for right now, but it's kind of getting to the point where it's like, ugh, I mean, I just, I don't care for it, I mean, it's not, it doesn't do anything for me because Sami Zayn, it's kind of annoying at this point. They're, they're, it's like he's overdoing it. He's overdoing the heel persona and he's kind of just being like a, he just kind of overdoing the heel. He's just kind of overdoing it and it's not coming off as heel. It's coming off more like he's just, you know, going out of character. And I think that's, I think that's the way I see it. I think Sami Zayn is going out of character and I don't think he's staying in character. I think he's just kind of overdoing it. Don't get me wrong. I just think he's, I just think Sammy's overdoing it and I don't really care for it. So, Sammy Zayn ends up beating Jeff Hardy. I mean, we knew this wasn't going to be a really, this, we knew this match wasn't going to be great. It was a decent match between Sammy Zayn and Jeff Hardy tonight on SmackDown Live. And because of the Jeff Hardy situation that is going on right now, Sami Zayn beats Jeff Hardy and retains the IC Championship. And then we had, and then we had a six-man tag team match with King Corbin, and um, and with King Corbin and Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura versus Matt Riddle and two halves of the Lucha Losers. I didn't care for this six-man tag, to be honest. I just didn't care for it. I don't care. I mean, my God, how... how? Now we see how far Matt Riddle has fallen. My God. Matt, Ru Matt Riddle has fallen. If this doesn't say that Matt Riddle is buried, I don't know what does. You're pairing Matt Riddle with two halves of the Lucha Losers. Think about that, folks. You're pairing Matt Riddle with two jobbers. Think about that. You're pairing Matt Riddle that just came up from, from NXT and you're pairing him with two halves of the Lucha Losers, which are jobbers. They just got beat by Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro at um, a, a Clash of Champions. So, I mean, my God, if this doesn't say uh, Matt Riddle is buried... I don't know what does. You're you're pairing Matt Riddle with two lucha losers that are complete and utter jobbers and Grandma Tatleek and Lince Dorado, two jobbers, which are complete just they're jobber to the stars. You're pairing Matt Riddle with these two? My God, man. Matt Riddle is buried, folks. If you don't think Matt Riddle is buried, you are dead wrong, man. Matt Riddle has fallen, and my God, how he has. My God, how has Matt Riddle fallen? He has fallen, man. Matt Riddle went from beating AJ Styles on the first night on SmackDown Live to now he's all the way down on the rung of the ladder, and he's pair and he's he's teaming with two halves of the Lucha Losers and Lince Dorado and Grandma Talik. Two halves of the Lucha Losers against Baron Corbin and, Shin and Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura. I don't get this. I mean, I don't understand. I don't care about this six-man tag. I just don't care. You, I mean, why are you pairing Matt Riddle with two losers? I don't get it. I don't understand it. If that doesn't say Matt Riddle is buried, I don't know what does. Matt Riddle is buried, folks. Get it out of your head. Matt Riddle is not going to be used on SmackDown the way that you think. Matt Riddle is buried. And Matt Riddle and two halves of the Lucha Losers beat King Corbin and Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura in a six-man tag team match tonight on SmackDown Live, which I totally did not care for. Do not care. Don't care. I don't know what they're fighting for. I don't know what they're feuding over. I don't know why they're feuding. I don't know why they're tagging. I don't I don't understand what this tag match was about. I don't understand why Matt Riddle is 
being paired with two halves of the Lucha Losers. I don't get why Matt Riddle is being paired with two halves of the Lucha Losers. I don't get why Corbin is tagging with Cesaro and Nakamura. I don't get that. I don't understand what any of this does for any guy. For any guy, I don't get what this does for that for any guy on either team. I don't get what it does. It don't make sense to me why these teams are feuding. What are they feuding over? Why are they feuding? I don't understand it. But Matt Riddle and Lince Dorado and Grandma Talik ended up picking up the win over King Corbin, Cesaro, and Shinsuke Nakamura in a six-man this this careless tag team match tonight on SmackDown Live. And then we had we had the KO show. KO gets attacked by the Fiend. The the lights go out. The Fiend comes in. He attacks Kevin Owens for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know why the Fiend is attacking Kevin Owens. I don't understand this. Why is why is the Fiend feuding with Kevin Owens? I don't understand what this does for Bray Wyatt or Kevin Owens. I don't know what this does for either guy. I don't understand what they're feuding over or why they're feuding. This is another this is another question I have for the SmackDown Live creative. Why is Bray Wyatt feuding with Kevin Owens? What was the what was the attack for? Why did he attack Kevin Owens? There's no sense and they're not making sense of why Bray Wyatt attacked Kevin Owens. They're making no I mean, this because I mean I guess Kevin Owens, you know, insulted Alexa in some way tonight during the KO show. I guess Kevin Owens must have assault um insulted Alexa, I guess in a way. I don't know. So the lights go out. The Fiend enters the ring. He attacks Kevin Owens. And then the Fiend turns around and he offers his hand. The the light the lights go out again and the and the Fiend music the Fiend's music plays and the Fiend offers his hand to Alexa Bliss and she stands up and Alexa Bliss put her hand Alexa Bliss put her hands in the Fiend's hands and the segment ends. So I'm kind of intrigued on the I'm kind of intrigued with the storyline between Alexa Bliss and the Fiend. I'm intrigued by this. I want to see where this storyline goes between Alexa Bliss and the Fiend. I'm really interested in this. I want to see where this storyline goes. I'm really interested in this right now. It's one of the things that I'm interested in on SmackDown Live is where the storyline is going between Alexa Bliss and The Fiend on SmackDown Live. I want to see where this goes, man. I'm interested in this, and I want to see where it goes. So, I'm really interested in The Fiend and Alexa Bliss storyline on SmackDown Live. I'm really, I'm really interested to see where this storyline goes between The Fiend and Alexa Bliss on SmackDown Live. And then we had, and then we had the we had we then we heard from Sasha Banks. The Sasha Banks promo was really good. I like this segment with Sasha Banks, man. Sasha Banks is absolute dynamite on the on the mic, man. Sasha Banks killed her segment tonight, man. She was absolutely awesome on her segment tonight. Her promo came off good. She came off as a heel should. I like this new heel Sasha. I like I like I like how she brought the heel out in herself. I like that. I like the I like this promo tonight by Sasha Banks. The promo was very good, man. Sasha Banks' promo tonight on SmackDown Live was damn good, man. It was really, really good. Sasha Banks cut a awesome promo tonight on SmackDown Live. And then we had Sheamus versus Shorty G. Sheamus dominates Shorty G with two bro kicks. So there you go. And then, um, and then we had we had uh, Jay Uso versus AJ Styles. This match didn't last long. AJ ended up hitting the frog splash on AJ Styles for the win. 
in a in a cup in a really short match. It didn't really last all that long. The match went about a minute, minute and a half between AJ Styles and Jay Uso, and Jay Uso hits the frog splash on AJ Styles for the win. And then, um, and then, uh, and then, you know, here's the thing. SmackDown Live, it, 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 it really didn't do, we had Otis versus John Morrison. Otis wins, beats John Morrison. I don't care. Otis beats John Morrison. Do you care? No, you don't. Otis destroys John Morrison. I don't care. Johnny Mundo is dead. Johnny Mundo or Johnny, I mean Luke, uh, Johnny Underground or whatever you want to call him from Luke, uh, Johnny, Johnny Mundo, Johnny, Johnny Underground, whatever you want to call him. Johnny Mundo is dead, folks. They have buried him on SmackDown. He is buried. John, Johnny Mundo, John Morrison, aka Johnny Mundo, aka John Morrison is dead, folks. SmackDown Live has buried him. He gets buried by Otis tonight on SmackDown Live. Overall, I'm going to give SmackDown Live a 2 out of 10. I'm really interested in the storyline between The Fiend and Alexa Bliss. That's one of the things I like I'm interested in on SmackDown Live. I want to see what happens now with The Fiend and Alexa Bliss. Now that she's paired up with The Fiend, I want to see where this storyline goes. I want to see what Creative does with this storyline between The Fiend and Alexa Bliss. I want to see where this storyline is capable of going. I want to see what happens now. now. Now that Alexa Bliss is paired with The Fiend, I want to see where this storyline goes. And the Sasha Banks promo tonight on SmackDown Live was awesome as hell. Sasha Banks' promo was probably the best thing of the night tonight on SmackDown Live. Sasha Banks' promo was damn good, man. Sasha Banks cut a damn good promo tonight. And Sasha Banks' promo was the best thing about SmackDown Live tonight. So overall, I'm going to give SmackDown Live a 2 out of 10 for the Alexa Bliss and Fiend storyline. I mean, I'm gonna give SmackDown Live. I'm gonna give SmackDown Live a two out of ten because of the storyline between Alexa Bliss and the Fiend, and for Sasha Banks' promo tonight on SmackDown Live. So overall, I'm gonna give SmackDown Live a two out of ten. If you guys like this SmackDown Live review, hit that thumbs up. It helps my YouTube channel and the YouTube algorithm. And guys, make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe. And turn on that notification bell for all notifications. And guys, um, let me know what you guys thought about SmackDown Live tonight down in the comment section below. Let me guys know what you guys thought about SmackDown Live tonight down in the comment section below of the video. You guys, let me know what you guys will give SmackDown Live tonight for a rating down in the uh, comment section below. I want to know what you guys are giving SmackDown Live for a rating tonight. I'm going to give SmackDown Live a 2 out of 10. And I just want to say thank you guys for your continuing overwhelming love and support of the channel. I really do appreciate it. Thank you guys for sharing my videos, for, comment, for commenting on my videos, for subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate to everyone that has subscribed to the channel. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys continue to subscribe to the channel and share my videos and comment on my videos and just share my channel. I really appreciate everybody that is continuing to show love to the channel. And I just want to say thank you guys for watching this SmackDown Live review tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you guys tonight. Overall, SmackDown Live for me overall was a 2 out of 10. The Fiend and Alexa Bliss thing was good, and the Sasha Banks promo was the best thing about SmackDown Live tonight. So SmackDown Live for me was a 2 out of 10. Thank you guys for enjoying this SmackDown Live review. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my Georgia versus Auburn live stream, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for that. 
And um, I love you guys. You guys have a good night. Get some rest. And I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for Georgia versus Auburn live stream. Until then, guys, I'm out. Hit that thumbs up. And I'll see you guys tomorrow, guys. And I'm out. Much love. Peace.